Alright, hello fun and welcome to my new Fallout 4 mini-series of Operation Artichoke, where today I'm quite excited to get started up on this new quest and adventure mod, though I, I say new, this was released back in October, and it's adding into the game a fun new dungeon for us to go and explore, and has a uh, three missions, one main quest mission, and two side quest missions, so probably not going to take us too long long I'm guessing two maybe three episodes but what really interested me about this thing and why I wanted to play it is the story behind it this operation artichoke that we're going to be investigating is uh, actually based off of a real world experiment that the CIA did to try and hypnotize people to be sleeper assassins and was apparently the predecessor to MK Ultra oh boy and the mod maker is uh, adding it into this world because, well, I mean, it fits with a lot of the other weird experiments that the government and Vault Tech, etc. did. Yeah, it definitely, definitely fits this Operation Artichoke. So, yeah, I'm intrigued to see how they did modify it and put it into this world. And, you know, just always good and fun to explore a new dungeon. So, we are, of course, over at Diamond City because we need to head just around the corner to Hardware Town. And nearby there is a door that will actually lead us into the dungeon in question for us to find this experiment. So let's head on up this way and have a look. I'm very interested to see how the story is going to go on this. I'm I'm really hoping for a lot here considering the uh, Chinese Remnants mod we did recently. I was disappointed in the lack of story we actually ended up getting there so I'm hoping this one is gonna be the opposite giving us a lot of story so uh we'll we'll see how that pans out okay I think we go I think there I think that's what the image showed oh was it or was it that door interesting I know that's not a door that's a window <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think it's that building. I think it's that building there. Okay, because if I'm remembering... Nope! That door. Okay, I'm just remembering from the mod page that the uh, store angle was like this. And so that's the door I saw. But no, 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 no. It's this one right here. And we got some bandits, but nah, I don't care about them. Let's just head on in to an old building. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm assuming anything we might fight will probably be ghouls and the like down here, though maybe some other things. Oh, let's turn on our light. And, okay. Definitely need a bit. Oh, hello. Huh. How high the moon. Find why the Institute was here. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was wondering what the story was going to be and why, why we're investigating. Yeah, Institute looking up something like uh, Operation Artichoke definitely makes sense. Okay, well, let's just take a quick look around. Make sure we don't miss anything. And let's take a look at the quest itself here. How high the moon. So, yeah, just find out why the Institute's here. Cool, 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 cool. Random Protectron. We got another dead synth here. I'll take that. How dare... Whoops! I meant to hit, not throw a grenade! <laughs> well, that still should have taken care of the Rad Roach. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't accidentally uh, blow something into the ether that I need for this. Nah, we're probably fine. Oh, God. Hello, other Protectron robot there. You know what? Nothing too dangerous so far just rad roaches let's get down a uh a less powerful weapon oh hello you know what let's actually hit i did it again i did it again i did it again i have a grenade cooked <laughs> oh i didn't kill him okay he followed me all right all right jesus Oh, good times. Good times me hitting the wrong button for a grenade. Oh, magnificent. Ooh, hello, safe. What do we got here? Excellent. Yes. Okay, don't need you, but I will take all of you. All right, what else we got in this place? Oh, hello. Door to some sort of more... Comprehensive facility. Anything back here, though? 
I'm still in danger. Wait, what? Really? Okay, I'm guessing another rad roach over there. Oh, I can't go back here. Invisible wall. Oh, dang. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got dirty trench coat. Got a computer in there with the rad roach. No, can't shoot through that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was about to say, let's check this terminal. Nope. Nope. That's a skull with some sunglasses on. Hmm. Okay. Anything in here? Just pocket watch, hat, baseball cap, magnifying glasses. <laughs> All right. Well, let's open up this. There's a computer back there. Hopeful lore. Oh, a little bit more. A little tiny bit more. Nice. Red Roach, I need to shoot you. Oh, there we go. So is that door... Oh, no, that's just straight into the laboratory. Okay, I was wondering if we needed the computer to maybe open the door, but... Uh, take that... No, I didn't mean to do that. Door that! I wanted to... All I wanted to do was grab that ammo. And then read this note. All right. Uh, Operation Artichoke. Report about suspicious activity. Oh, God. I love... I love it when mod makers do that. Add, like, an abbreviation for their mod in brackets. Because it just makes my life so much easier with all the crap I have in my inventory. Oh, wonderful. File to 1211-2076 by Anna Rowe. Sex station C12 about illegal trade and theft of state property. Oh no! I've noticed that Dr. Kleinschmidt from the production lab is often visited by Miss Henderson from Department X slash Blossom? X Blossom? Weird. Around twice a week, even if there is no need for such a visit based on workload. Every time she returns, she carries a small file box with her she didn't have before. This activity overlaps with a small amount of medex missing in the books at the end of every month, as noticed by the laboratory lead. Asked about this activity, Dr. Kleinschmidt said he used a few doses of the medex to test its effects compared to Lysergid. Interesting. He then proceeded to start rambling about the differences of these chemicals, probably to distract from the accusations. But these amounts don't end up with the high number of doses missing. I'll keep an eye on him. Anna Row, Security Station C12. Cool. Cool. Alright. Wow, a lot of buff out in there. Jesus. <laughs> Take it all. Uh, anything there? Just another 10mm pistol on that note while I'm remembering. And... Oh, wrong button. Drop. There we go. Alright, anything in here? Do we got another file that I can grab? No. Got some fusion cells there, though. Okay, and note to self, we've got to definitely check all the files since uh, since we just had that there a moment ago. Nice placement, though. I really like that. Because it, you know, was actual file. Okay. Security batons, meh. Alright, security station terminal. DIA. Of course it's the DIA. Considering, again, Operation Artichoke was a CIA thing. That makes sense. Incident report. Come on. There we are. 2310, 2077, 713M. Description. Former employee tried to smuggle out a holotape containing sensitive information. At 6.43am, Dr. Edward Winters, a former employee of Operation Blossom Division Psychological Analysis, tried to leave the facility with the rest of his personal belongings after his employment contract expired at the 2210-2077. A regular check for facility property unearthed a holotape with unexplained content. A holotape reader revealed the content to be sensible. I assume that's supposed to be sensitive, not sensible data. <laughs> Sensitive data regarding the goals, methods, and achievements of Operation Blossom. Officer Williams and I therefore persuaded oh boy, Mr. Winters to wait here for the security supervisor to discuss the following steps. For now, I have secured the holotape and the security wall safe. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So probably in here somewhere. That was Officer Johnson. Got it. Is there a wall safe in here? Oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> How the hell did I miss that earlier? <laughs> Me, a loot whore. How did I miss that? Oh, magnificent. Sweet. All right. Okay, we got that. That a broken hollow tape. Three of them. Huh? Uh, is it gonna be a miscellaneous? It was broken. Oh boy, all the way to the bottom. 
I don't know, just a report. It's gonna be junk, isn't it? Ah, uh, oh, no! Oh, broken hollow tape, huh? Well, we grabbed him, so I mean, we did our part. Was this the dude? <laughs> oh, wow, with his arm over there, was he like cuffed to the pipes? In the left. Okay, well, I think that's it for in here. Uh, check around the floor just in case. Not seeing anything. All right, let's go into the laboratory. Let's check out this uh, Operation Blossom in here. Interesting. Hmm. Whoop, what do we got? Gone out. Well, that's how they went. Lots of anti-commie propaganda, as per usual in these government facilities. Can't get through that door. Okay. Oh, we got things over here. Some 50 caliber rounds. I got a working computer. Oh, 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 institute things. I'll take all those and those. So that's probably an institute terminal. Granted, if that is an institute terminal, shouldn't it be, you know, the institute style? We'll come back for that in a moment. Oh, gun away. Oh, hi, never mind, gun back. And boom. Die, Brad Roach. Uh, army fatigues all laid out. Seeing anything else. Dead man. Uh, a lot of supplies. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, there. I'm gonna assume briefing room. <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a oh my god, that's a tight that's a tight space for a bathroom. <laughs> oh boy, wow, yeah, good thing it opens in. <laughs> Uh no, the red roach meat. Oh hi. So yeah, crap the crap, crap load of red roaches in this place. Uh, you nothing else of value. All right, take those. Didn't look like anything here. Oh, battered clipboards. So hoping maybe some sort of notes or something in this place, but nope. All right, to the terminal. Let's go check that out before we head down the uh, elevator. What do we got? DIA internet service. Welcome, uh, Mrs. Smithers. Okay, so not... Not Institute. Operation STEM Framework Rules. Operation STEM will include volunteers from the U.S. Army to research the influence of... Lyser Gid, on the capability of a soldier to do his duty and to quantify the loss of the fighting strength of any fighting force or any other professional working force to do this. It's... Wait. Professional... Okay. I thought that because of the wide space, I just assumed in my brain that there was a period there. So, <laughs> but no, no. It's just a very wide space. Okay, so fighting force or any other professional professional working force to do its work. There we go, that makes sense. Knowledge about this might lead to the development of a peaceful solution to incapacitate enemy strongholds, cities, and positions. The full subject group of up to six soldiers will be at first tested in their capability to follow superior orders. A test related to knowledge taught during any soldier's basic training will also be concluded as a control measure to qualify the impact of Lysergid. All right, Operation STEM, last report. The added Lyser Gid had a clearly noticeable effect on all subjects. Reactions included, including, but not limited to, extensive and prolonged laughter with and without a reason, okay, incompatibility or unwillingly to react and act on direct orders from superiors, okay, undirected and unwilling question mark movement of all limbs often into the direction of the other subjects inherent connection between all subjects enforced question mark and under and under the effect of the substance a executed test of basic strategic knowledge showed a decrease in the number of correct answers by 10 percent compared to a condition with out the influence of Lysergid. Okay, that's not much of a decrease, but certainly is a noticeable one. 
but the time it took all subjects to finish the test increased by almost 300%. Ah, so they'll do it, but it'll take them a hell of a lot longer. Got it. Okay. The superiors uh, that should lead a simple military exercise were only after intensive screaming and disciplining of a few individuals able to finish the drill. The total time increased by around 430% can compared to a condition without the influence of Lysergid. Okay, so it's making them far more lethargic and definitely not wanting to follow orders. All right. IRO 72196. Okay, so now we're getting into Institute stuff. Field report number one. Is that supposed to be IRO, like an acronym, or is that meant to be IRO? <laughs> Iro. I will put parts of the field report on local terminals to make a full clearing run easier and properly guided. This might break protocol, but I will not note down any mission critical information and make sure no one enters this facility outside of our teams. <laughs> uh, and me. I successfully infiltrated this facility. The security is minimal, but deadly. I haven't encountered that yet. I already lost two units to it. Oh well, yeah, we had that upstairs. Oh yeah, the robots upstairs. Yeah, the Protectrons. Okay, okay. Somehow two Protectrons killed two cents. Got it. We'll have to execute more caution. I have set up a FOB in the old office. Some kind hmm. Some kind of forward operating base. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. I had to think about that for a second. What could FOB be? Forward operating base. I mean, I hope. That would make sense, but. Who knows? The field reports seem to be correct. This facility was used to test an experimental chemical for the use of mind control and manipulation. This terminal at least states such experiments. I will soon enter deeper into the facility with the hope of finding my target information. Institute Retrieval Operations, Dr. Sarah Hamlin. All right. What's IRO supposed to stand for then? <laughs> I don't know. Field report number two. Ah, uh, find the Institute Exploration Team is now our mission. Uh, I found not only the facilities related to Operation Blossom as part of the original intel, but also a small production facility for the chem called Lysergrid, or Ly Lysergid, based on the data found in the laboratory. Our teams should be able to synthesize it. Okay. The knowledge found about Operation Blossom showed that this facility housed a not small amount of test subject referred to as inmates. Shortly after the Great War, there seems to be a riot in this part of the compound. The Lysergid derivatives researched in Operation Blossom were used for similar purposes compared to our required ones. Wait, what? Hmm. So I'm hopefully, I'm hopeful to find what we need here. I will now move down to these cells in hopes of finding more information about the outcome of Operation Blossom. Afterwards, I will write up a third report. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess this is report number two, isn't it? Uh, retrieval operate... IRO, Institute of Retrieval Operations. Oh, my God. How <laughs> took me too long to realize that. Okay, yeah, Institute Retrieval Operations, Dr. Sarah Hamlin. All right, so they went down into the prison cells then. Down we go. Okay, let's see what we're going to have to deal with down here. Let us head down to the laboratory. I don't know why, but I always like to open those hatches. Going up. <laughs> no, we're definitely going down, announcer. Oh, yeah, gone. Oh. Okay, corpse. I thought that was an institute uh, hazmat suit for a moment. Nope. Corpse with a lab coat. Uh, whoop! We've been affected by the drug now, haven't we? <laughs> that flash of light and then the change in the... Um... Oh, yeah, yep. Fallen 11. Yeah, we're affected by the drug. Cool, cool, cool. The drug's leaked. All right. Wonderful. Neat, though. <laughs> oh, also, that was bright. I'm sitting in a dark room now. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Well, we're stuck here. Well, got away for the time being. Uh, hmm. I'm going to watch out for notes. So, I mean, all right, we're definitely affected by this drug. We got the haze on the floor. Yeah, we got the fog of, I assume, the chemical on the floor making us think we're back in Vault 111. It's stuck. Oh. Wait, but the other door was inaccessible, too. 
jammed. Uh, what? Uh oh. Okay, so there's something we're supposed to do. Something we're supposed to find. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, if our last little mini-series with Chinese Remnants mod is anything to go by, it may take me a while to figure out what we need to do in here. Uh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, okay. Was it time-based? I don't know. Oh, ooh, all right. Did I have to stand in a specific spot, or was it time-based? No idea. But, oh well, we're through here now. Oh, yeah, we're definitely being affected by the drug because the haze is still here. Noted. All right, so we're going to have some trippy... Oh, again! Some trippy incidences. Why is there a car in the doorway? <laughs> ah! Car in the hallway, too! Oh, hey, our house, I assume. Oh, but I want to go in there. There's a terminal. There's a terminal. Damn you! <laughs> Okay, I didn't. Ex I wasn't expecting this mod to be trippy, but apparently, that's what we got. All right, well, let's go into our home. Post oh, never mind. We're back out. Oh, hello, body. Oh god. Oh god. Another terminal here. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. More protectrons. All right, back. Back this way, though. Ooh, ooh, that guy did not. Oh, hey, I thought that I thought I thought that was supposed to be a tree a part of the hallucination earlier, but no, it's roots growing into the bunker. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'll take all that rat X. This might be a good plan. Wait, hold on. I'm already wearing one. I've got uh, the combat armor, marine combat armor. We should still probably take that just in case. <laughs> Ooh, hello, suitcase, and then we'll go check that first terminal we saw during the hallucination. Alright, I have a feeling this mod's going to take us a little bit longer than I originally thought now what? because of the hallucinations and everything. <gasps> Note for Kleinschmidt and a suspicious pen! Well, I'm glad I opened this. Oh! Find the missing medics. Oh! <laughs> find it open the hidden cache. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh... <gasps> That's the... Yep, that's the one of the two side quests. Okay, okay. All right, so we got that now. Well, note. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. I was I wasn't thinking this uh this mod was gonna be like this. Suspicious pen, huh? I don't think I see anything about it. It's probably a key or something. I don't know. Can I use it? Nope. <laughs> Note from Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt, must I remember you of what is at stake, remind? I know, we being investigated. Okay, so I take it the maker of this mod's first language is not English. Okay, fair enough. But you must keep calm, otherwise I will put it out there. And everybody will know your little secret. Also keep my key safe for now. Yeah, the pen's definitely the key. If something. Okay, okay. Why did he have a comfy pillow in there? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we gotta find a hidden safe somewhere where I assume that pen is a key. Uh, what the hell? Why is there a giddy up buttercup head in the terminal? Hut? <laughs> All right, before we look at the... Oh, we got another terminal here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so much lore. Oh, yeah. This is like the polar opposite of uh, the... Ch oh, it's a mixing station. Oh, uh, so we may need to f try and find out how to cure ourselves so we're not having all these hallucinations. Maybe? But yeah, it's definitely the polar opposite of uh, the Chinese, op uh, Chinese Remnants mod, considering we seem to have a lot more to read, which, yes! Uh, welcome, Mix System 2000 user. Please read before use. Note to Lab Tech Boy. <laughs> All right. This 
patented mixing and heating system, Mix System 2000, for laboratories is a product of a joint venture from Robco Systems and Mass Fusion Boston. We want to thank you for buying this great system and want to ensure you that all parts are made in the USA only. Yeah, I doubt that. Please always read the instruction manual before using. Without hesitation, we inform you, valid customer, that it is known to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts that long-term use of the Mix, mix System 2000 can cause cancer. Of course, of course. Loss of fertility, loss of hair, and potential constipation. Oh boy, we, the honorable manufacturer of this great piece of modern lab equipment, want to ensure you, even if we are legally bound to put this warning label on your Mix System 2000, do not believe that any harm might be brought to you, an upstanding American citizen from any great good manufacturer in the USA. Oh my god, I love it. Our internal research has discovered that only communists are affected by the illnesses mentioned above. If you have any questions regarding this great piece of tech or want to report a communist, please call that. We want to thank you again for the purchase of the new Mix System 2000 and wish you a lot of fun with your new item. Also, oh, what the hell? Oh, uh, okay. While I was reading this, I got a public safety message on my phone, and that's and I was just, I just went to grab it real quick to see if there was like a storm coming in. Uh, apparently, the nuclear power station near me just sounded sirens. No action is needed, apparently, but oh my god, that's not something I want to read while I'm playing a Fallout game. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up that on online real quick after I finish this. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I live a little bit far away, but uh, oh boy. Okay, that's interesting. Well, note to the lab tech boy. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to. I kind of want to end the episode here and then go figure that out because, dear God. But uh, let's let's read this. We only got like a couple minutes, anyways. We're at twenty-seven minutes here. So, Chris, would you please get rid of this boot-up message? We have this mixer for two years now, and it is still displaying it. By now, I know that shit by heart. If you have any questions regarding this great piece of tech or want to report a communist, please call yada yada yada. And yes, I called them, and they only asked me if I had a commie to report. <laughs> of course. I don't want to hear about constipation to commie every morning. Thinking about commies gives me constipation, for fuck's sake. So please get rid of that message. Dr. White. Got it. Alright, well, let's just open this door real quick. Can't! Okay, okay, okay. What is on this terminal? We're definitely not going to get to reading all of it. Oh, security door control. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to save that for next time, because we are just about at 20 minutes anyway, so about the half hour mark. And so that means I'm going to end it here. And yeah, then go and quickly find out what's going on with the nuclear power station near me. <laughs> <laughs> if you see this video tomorrow, I'm probably fine. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today. I am liking this so far. A very story heavy mod here that uh, I'm certainly going to enjoy and hope you guys do too. But until ne the next episode, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.